In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing decimals by a whole number. When dividing a decimal by a whole number, it works just like everything was a whole number. The only difference is, after we're done with our long division, we need to decide where to place the decimal. To place the decimal, we simply move it straight up into the appropriate place. So, for example, if we have 59.01 divided by 7, when we set up our long division, we put the last number out front, the 7 out front, and then 59.01 inside the, the divisor, or the division sign. Then we can start dividing like always with long division, ignoring the decimal. 7 goes into 59 8 times, because 8 times 7 is 56. When we subtract, we get 3, bring down the 0. 7 goes into 30, 4 times. Notice I put that 4 directly above the digit we're dividing into, because 4 times 7 is 28. Subtract, and we get 2, bring down the 1, and 7 goes into 21 3 times. Again, putting that digit directly above what I'm dividing into. And 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract, and I get 0, so now we're done dividing. Placing the decimal, then, we just move this decimal straight up into our answer. We end up with 8 and 43 hundredths. Let's take a look at another example, where we go through the same process. Here, we're dividing by the whole number 12. Again, the second number needs to go in front of the long division bar and we're putting it into 84.48. Then we begin dividing, just like they were whole numbers, ignoring the decimal. 12 goes into 84, 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14, carry the 1, 7, and 1 more is 8. And when we subtract, we get 0. Again, notice I put that 7 directly above the digit I'm dividing into. Bring down the next digit. Can 12 go into 4? No, it can't. We still need to account for that division. It goes in there 0 times. 0 times 12 is 0, and when we subtract, we get 4 and bring down the next digit. 12 goes into 48 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4. Subtract, and we get 0. We have 0, nothing left to bring down. We just need to move the decimal into the answer by moving it straight up. And because we kept everything lined up perfectly as we did our work, the decimal ends up in the right place. 7.04, or 7 and 4 hundredths, is our solution. To divide a decimal by a whole number, we simply divide using long division, and then move the decimal straight up into our final answer.